Gemini 3 has shipped, y'all. In Sundar's words, it's gone from simply reading text and images to reading the room. Built to grasp depth and nuance, like subtle clues and creative ideas, and figuring out context. So we decided to put that nuanced grasping superpower to the test. Ever tried recreating a video you like and just couldn't get it exactly mm. right? Well, Gemini 3 can get you there by reverse engineering any AI video prompt. And even better, we'll show you how to do it with NAN and Vertex AI for free. This is the AI Beat with AI agents A to Z. Good AI video prompts aren't one-liners. They're long, precise, and packed with nuance. Gemini 3 can reverse engineer the detailed prompts that can take forever to figure out. Lighting, motion, style, everything. With this workflow, you can analyze a YouTube short, reconstruct the prompt, and regenerate the video. Let's start by configuring the workflow. In order to set up the Configure Me node, you'll need a project in your Google Cloud console. Select the project you want to use, copy the project ID, and paste it into NAN. No need to touch location ID or API endpoint. You can also fine tune the base prompt by going into the expression, where we wrote instructions on how to analyze a video and reconstruct the prompt. You'll also need to set up your credentials for the various Google API services. This includes your YouTube credentials. In your Google Cloud Console, go to APIs and Services, select Library, search for YouTube Data API v3, and enable it if it isn't already. You'll also need your Gemini credentials. In the same library, search for Gemini, select Gemini API, and enable it if it isn't already. Now go to your credentials, click Create Credentials, and select API Key. In the sidebar, select Websites under Application Restrictions, then create the key. Copy the API key from Google Console. In NAN, in the Get Video Data node, create a new credential under Query Auth. For name, type key. For value, paste in your API key. Give your credential a name and hit Save. To connect your Gemini credentials, you'll first need to select the proper scopes from this link provided here. In the Create Video Prompt node, create a new credential under Google OAuth 2 API, then paste in the scope. You'll also need to copy the OAuth redirect URL from NAN into your Google Console. Select Create Credentials, then OAuth Client ID. Select Web Application as the type, enter a name if you want, and paste in the redirect URL from NAN. Click Create. From here, you'll need to grab your client ID and client secret and paste it into NAN. But we're still not done. Back in Google Console, select OAuth Consent Screen, Audience, and click Publish App. Now in NAN, you can click Sign In with Google and select your Google account. In this screen, click Advanced, go to Local NAN, and then click Continue. When it says the connection is successful, this node is good to go. Make sure to add your credential in the Start Generating the Video node and the Get Status of the Generation node. And now the workflow is ready to test. Let's say you want to create a short like this. Execute the workflow and in the form, paste in the video URL. You can also add any change requests you'd like to make or leave it blank. Hit Submit and let it run. And here's our video. So that's how you get from clip to prompt in record time. Go recreate your favorite videos or make new ones. It's your Gemini 3 era. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.